So today I'm going to uh, talk about something on automation where we can create automated rules in Google Ads. So it does all the heavy lifting for you and you don't need to worry about doing all the manual and the trivial uh, tasks on a daily, weekly or monthly basis. So things which you might forget to do, to switch something off which is not working or is getting more expensive, you need to bring the bids down or increase the bids uh, on a keyword which are performing uh, very well. So there are lots of uh, cool stuff which you can do with automated rules. And very few people know that it literally exists in, in Google Ads. So I'm gonna show you um, how to uh, set it up. So let's go to, first of all, the Google Ads Help Center. So they've got quite a bit of content over here. You can go afterwards and um, uh, read about it but i'll just go through the the main bits before we go into the google ads interface all right so common ways to use automated rules so it allows you to schedule your ads to appear at a specific time of the day at just bids as i said earlier on and control your budgets costs pretty much um, everything so you think about the tasks you perform on a regular basis in your uh, Google Ads account, write them down, and it's best to write them down uh, on, on, on paper, and then you go into your Ads account and start to structure and set these rules up. Sometimes I've seen people have gone overboard and they've put in so many rules of <laughs> different kinds that if you r run one rule the other one when it runs it negates the first one so you don't want to go crazy because when you do find out about these rules you are going to go crazy like i did many years ago and i'm thinking oh i'm going to create this rule i'm going to create that rule so everything is pretty much uh, automated but then at the end of the day it was just a bit of a mess so you just want to do a few important things which will help you with your workflow okay so they've got uh, scheduling the ads uh, pa pausing uh, low performing ads or keywords bit scheduling controlling budgets and costs all sorts of things you can do and it can be set up at campaign ad group ad and keyword level and i'll show you in a bit so let's have a look a couple of uh, rules as to what they are talking about. So you've got several promo ads containing the phrase Memorial Day specials and you want to run them over this weekend. Okay, so this is like time. So if you don't want to run an ad after the event has finished, so what you can do is whether it's Memorial Day, Christmas, Eid, Diwali or whatever, uh, you want to make sure that it runs or it switches off the next day and it could be a day of the holiday. So how do you turn them off? Because especially over here in the UK, we have a long Christmas break and somebody has to switch switch the campaign off if it if the Christmas offer has expired on the 26th or the 27th of December. So you can do it this way, you set it up and at the right time, uh, your campaign will will pause. So they've given all the even the instructions over here, step by step, as to how you can do that. Uh, turn on or off a special ad from a promotional event. So the opposite, you can do the other year, next year as well, if you want to. But I would not uh, recommend you do that to turn on an ad when on a certain date or time because you want you may want to change the text ad or uh, run a target completely a separate uh, sets of keywords this is quite good low performing ads or keywords so expensive keywords non converting keywords keywords which are uh, pretty much not you know costing you money you can pause them on automation especially when you've got thousands and thousands of keywords in an in a campaign you can do that so I know a lot of you run campaigns on SCAGs, which is single keyword ad group. So what you can do is in that ad group, if that ad group is expensive, pause it. 
because you know there's only one keyword in there so uh, this works uh, quite well okay bids and scheduling adjust bids for keywords based on cost per conversion good so if the keyword is performing well and is profitable you don't want to miss out on the in the auction so you can increase the bids and i'll show you in a bit how to do that so as you can see they've written over here a second weekly rule could decrease bids by 15 percent for keywords with a cost per conversion more than 12 dollars so you can increase or decrease the bids and adjust them automatically this is quite handy and i love this one uh, the most um, of all the automated bids because if you are it depends on how you are bidding um, we bid at ad group level whereas a lot of you guys may be bidding at keyword level so it doesn't matter which level you are bidding at if you are bidding at keyword level then you can set up a rule and that is going to you know take a huge chunk of the workflow every day because the keyword biddings would be um, done automatically and you can create a upper limit or a lower limit so that it doesn't go you know crazy and it keeps on increasing every day rules only run once a day so if you are running a a very big account where it, you are potentially spending tens of thousands of dollars um, a day then you want to be running scripts which can be run on an hourly basis and that is a lot more advanced and outside the scope of these but for most of you who are running smaller campaigns this is a great uh, way to start up uh, setting up rules maybe put up four or five rules and you'll be good to go it will ease up your um, workflow and also you won't be leaving it alone because a, a lot of the advertisers or business owners they set up the campaigns and forget that they even, they even switched it on and then hardly go in there to make any changes but at least so with the rules whatever metrics you have set up uh, these will be applied accordingly so you can see there's lots of uh, different ways you can set up the rules so let's go into the adwords interface and we'll set up some rules uh, okay so i'm at the campaign level right now since in my test account there's no data over here and then what you want to do is to go here in the three dots on the right hand side create an automated rule then you name up your rule select the action so i want to only uh, set up on enable campaigns um sorry um action is to uh, enable campaign pause or change budgets right so i can pause a campaign if it has spent a certain amount or i can change the budget if it is let's say not profitable so you can say average daily or campaign total depends on what you want you can either set up an action so let's say i want to increase the uh, increase the budget by 10 percent and i want to have an upper daily limit of 100 pounds then you can apply to your uh, campaigns in selected accounts or to the selected campaign so i'm going to leave this alone for now so status all enabled because paused ones don't matter so I'm going to change that condition and then you can add over here the condition. So you've got all these metrics. So let's say um, a good one could be uh, conversions. Let's say I'm increasing the budget, right? So if I type in, oops, conversions greater than let's say five in this campaign and i uh, add another so you can add as many conditions as you like and that's the good thing about these rules my cost per conversion let's say my target cost per conversion was 30 pounds right so if it is less than 25 then i can afford to increase the bid 
or I can go less than 30 because what I don't want to do is to be limited by budget if my campaign is profitable. So once this is set up, you can either set it up for once, daily, weekly, or monthly. And then you can look at the data from all of these uh, date range. Email, if um, there are any results, or uh, only if there are changes or errors to the uh, rules. 